Right, we're here at the Gadget Show still, and we've come across something really, really special. This is an underwater jetpack, and here to tell us all about it is Chris. Okay, hello. Well, like you say, it's an underwater jetpack, and it pretty much does exactly what it says in the tin. You strap this on, you jump in the water, and it's going to propel you along at six to seven miles an hour. Now, that does six to seven miles oh, an hour. Sorry, I thought you said 67. I thought, six oh, wow. 67 <laughs> would be impressive. Six to seven, I mean, it doesn't sound a great deal when you think about it in terms of land-based speed, but I can guarantee you, awesome. under the water, it's, it's an extreme feeling. It's kind of like... Imagine sticking your head out of the car window, you know, when you're buzzing down the motorway, that feeling you get, your skin sort of presses back and you flap it. When you sort of, when you get going on it, you get that butterfly in the stomach feeling. It's, uh, it's a really neat bit of kit. It's a great experience. <laughs> Explain to me the, the actual setup here. OK, what we've got is the main control box. This is where your batteries, so the power generation, all the control systems, everything housed in here. It's got flashy lights. It looks a bit like Iron oh, Man, you know, that sort of stuff. And then the main, main potatoes of it, so what, you're, what you're saying is it makes it look fancy, but it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> uh, well, we can we can flash it and spin it and do uh, battery level and things like that. On okay, it. That, it does do something. <laughs> it does do things. Um, and then the main bit of it is on the arms. You've got these two forearm mounted thrusters. So these are the main bit of kit that drive you through the water. These for the show, they're just sort of empty shells. But basically, you've got brushless motors in them, sort of high power, nice efficient propellers. These are kind of um, thrust developing nozzles on it, and. Uh, these give you a power, they're two horsepowers each, about 1800, they're about 1500 watts each, I think, in each of those kilowatts. And uh, they're what blast you through. Now, the reason we've strapped them onto the arms rather than anywhere else in the body is it gives you the ability to vector that thrust. Okay. So basically, as you're going along, where you point your arms is where you go. And so it allows how, you to how do you control your thrust. How much? Uh, there's a throttle which you hold in your hand. Oh, okay. So cool. this is kind of a thumb mounted system. Right. So you just sort of power up, off you go. And then you can do things like twist your arms around, spin, you can do spins, turns, twists. So do you have a throttle for each one? No, they're, they're on a joint throttle. Right, okay. And we've we got some sort of technology in there so that if one, so if you get one out of the water, obviously it stops generating thrust. So they, they level out a bit ah, okay. to try and stop you because they are very, very powerful. You know, if you get them going in the wrong direction, they can sort of twist you around a bit, so. <laughs> we've, um, we've been watching this video and it does look real, really good fun. It is, a, it is great fun. How did you come up with the idea for it? It was originally my brother Simon that came up with the, the first concept. So he did a skydive. Love the feeling of, and, the, and the rush of it, but he's terrified of heights, as am I. I've never done a skydive, <laughs> never will. Um, and he started racking his brains about how he could recreate that experience without the fall. Right. So we came up with this sort of underwater jetpack solution. If we, if we drive ourselves underwater, is it going to recreate that sort of feeling? Now. Right. It's not quite skydiving, as Cy will know, he's, he's done the both, but it, it definitely, for me, it gives you that buzz, yeah. that extreme sports buzz, you know, it's enjoyable. And there isn't a single person that's had a go that hasn't absolutely loved it. What's the battery time? How long have you got? Okay, I mean, what we call sort of average use, you'll get about an hour out of it. Oh, because it's, it's not bad then. No, it's not bad, because it's designed for swimmers, snorkelers, freedivers, not scuba. So you're popping up for breath, stopping intermittently. Right, so okay. on that sort of intermittent basis, it will easily and it easily go an hour. We've had it in the water for quite a bit longer than that. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, so it's, it's reasonable. And it's actually, it's quite an intensive experience. After an hour of doing this, you will know about it. You know, you'll be tired out. <laughs> it's a, about it's an hour. a new way of keeping fit, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, keep fit with the underwater jetpack. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much, Chris. That's Good really chance. good fun. And uh, looking forward to having a go on this. TV.